How you doing Duff here? And as you can see I have my 9 bot sitting here in front of me. My uh no light. It's good. My um intentions today are to do two things. Replace my beat up, bloody, duct tape, cracked um pad side pads with nice new black ones that I actually ordered from Ian over at Speedy Feet. I'm going to put those on. And then the other thing I want to do is take some of this black diamond grip tape and put it on my pedals to um, give me a better grip and hopefully keep me from uh, falling back during tilt back. So Let's do the easy thing first, which is the side pads. First thing you have to do is pop the uh, LED rings out. Actually, you can usually get the top part out with your hands. And actually, mine's falling off so often. Usually, you have to use the uh, screwdriver down below to release the tabs down low. But mine's falling. I, my LED ring has popped off so many times. I don't even need to do that for my various crashes. Um, there's two two screws up here. I was thinking about like uh, like getting one of those translucent outer shells for this, but since I have my hard set on a Gotway M3 now, I don't really spend the money on the uh, nine bot to do that. Okay, so the two screws are out. Just kind of lift up. Should just pull out. Um, I wonder if it's here. Yeah. This is being uh, problematic because A while back I went and removed the tape on this battery pack thinking it would somehow help my wobbling. Or I removed the uh, double sided tape on the one side and stuck it hard to the uh, plastic so it makes getting this off a little more difficult. So I'm going to try to get this in there. I might actually have to pull this loose to do it. So you, you can see there's two little tabs here at the bottom. You kind of put those in first and get those in place. It doesn't feel like it wants to seat quite so well. some slight differences in size here. I think these are like off the P, but you can see like the tab length is a little bit different at the top. Hmm. Tab length at the bottom is different as well. It's interesting, the part number is identical. So, I just might have to do some finagling here, so let me do some finagling. Alright, I've had to um, kind of use the, the threads and the screw to pull it down. This definitely feels bigger than the old one.
just to show you. Um, okay, I do, I do have that screwed down tight. So hopefully the ring still fits back on. Let's see. So that, that looks it looks nice. Um, yeah, it looks nice. Just a little tighter with the clearance. So I'm gonna flip it over to the other side. This side's this side's a little tighter. It seems like I usually when I lose the LED ring, it's usually on the battery side for for whatever reason. So if it is tight, you just use a little straight edge um, screwdriver and just pop that tab loose. Okay. Two screws out, lift up, out. If you've never seen the 9x1E plus circuit board, there it is. Alright. Just trying to get this black one in. Definitely a little bit more play there. It's it's easier to get it in this side than it is the battery side. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> the screw slipped off the side and I dropped inside. I have one of those magnet things. Hopefully, I can fish it out. Hopefully I can get lucky here. In most things like this, I do not get lucky. I cannot believe I dropped it in here. Need a flashlight. I don't see it and I don't hear it. Okay, I took the light ring off the other side and uh, just like jammed through here and knocked it out, luckily. So uh, there's a tip. Uh, be very careful when you put these in that it doesn't drop in the in the hole where all the wires go. Alright, I'm gonna try this again being a little bit more careful. I found that I, I could get this seated better if I like kind of squeezed it to kind of push it in so the tabs retracted. Now I got it sitting right on top of the post like it should be. So I'm thinking I'm gonna pop the other side off and do the same thing. Yeah, because now it's seated correctly, I don't need to rely on the screws to pull it down. It does look nice. Alright, so I'm going to just put this ring back on and then uh, redo the other side and then I'll come back for grip tape stuff.
pins feels like it's seated better now. Okay, new pads on. Looks nice. So now we deal with the pedals. Um, I've seen people do this various ways. I've seen someone actually um, take the pedal off and then shave, excuse me, shave all of the rubber down and then just laid the grip tape flat over top of it so you just had one flat grip tape surface to step on. And I've seen others, you take it apart and then you, you split the wheel. Um, take this top piece off and then they traced around all of these openings so the grip tape goes around these rubber um, these rubber pieces and I'm not 100% sure how I want to do it yet but the first thing you have to do is take the uh, actual pedal off so let's do that which is there's a, a screw in there I'm not sure what size it is so let me try a few Okay, according to my channel locks, this is a 2.5 Allen wrench they have. Take this little set screw out. And then there's a, uh, a pin in the center. It has to come out. So that comes out, and then there's two little plastic uh, washers on either side that you're going to need when you put it back together, like that, one on each side. So there you see the bare wheel, or the bare wheel, the bare pedal, and then there's six, six, um, Six more screws to come out to get this top plate out. So, yeah, I need to decide what I want to do. So let me uh, let me take this off a while. These screws are taking the same 2.5 Allen wrench as well. be honest, I think that I would get maximum grip if this was just one flat grip tape surface. But I'm not sure. I don't really want to cut my rubber though, just in case I don't like it for some reason. I'm wondering if I can just take the rubber pieces out, maybe? And then just lay a flat piece of grip tape on top. Alright, so I've got my six. I've got my six screws out. Trying to pop this out. So there's the base piece, here's the top, and there's the rubber on the back. So I'm just wondering if I take that out. I'm wondering if I just take it out and just put this piece back on. do that then you have no support under these and it's going to kind of bow. Eh, that's probably not a good solution.
Okay. So I think I'm just gonna I'm going to um, trace this. Take this off. Trace this on the grip tape. Cut it out. Um. Yeah, I'm still thinking. All right. After thinking about it for a while, I decided to go with um, the the one technique I saw where you actually cut the rubber. I'm, I'm cutting the rubber uh, flush or even slightly below the metal level, um, and then I'm just going to put a solid piece of grip tape on top of it. So, I'm using a combination of a utility knife and an exacto knife. Obviously, be very be very careful when you're doing this. It's going to take some time, so I don't think you need to film me getting frustrated doing this. All right, after struggling with an X-Acto knife and utility knife, I found the best way to do this is um, if you can get your hands on just a, a raw razor blade and very carefully just um, slide it along the surface. And be very, very careful, obviously. But um, th this this is by far the cleanest way to um, to get this off. But please, ooh, please be very, very careful. If you get a laceration, I'm not responsible. Okay, just to show you the difference using the razor, oops, the razor blade. This is the side that I trimmed with a razor blade. This is the side I hacked with the other stuff. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to sand this and then uh, trace an outline and cut it. You could use sandpaper to do this. Or you could just use some of your grip tape. Okay, I'm cutting this um, just inside what I traced so it's not hanging over. Yeah, I don't, don't want to have um, extra hanging over the edge, so I'm going to cut it just a, a fraction smaller. You're gonna need a pretty good scissors to cut this stuff. Okay, my battery actually died on me there. Um, I actually finished the one side down, one to the second side. I um, have my grip tape cut out. I don't know if I said it's black diamond grip tape. Bought it on Amazon, it wasn't too expensive. So I have my grip tape cut out, and now I'm just peeling back the peeling back the adhesive. Took me quite a while on the first side. This stuff is super, super, super grippy. So I don't know how I would pull off with this stuff on. Okay, pull it off. So now we're just going to line it up carefully. Had to kind of press it on. It feels super sticky though. I don't think it's going anywhere. Using this uh, the razor blade is definitely the way to go though. If you're going to cut these rubber uh, grips off, it's so much easier. 
as long as you're careful to not cut yourself. Okay, so there you go. Got it on there. Nice and grippy. So now I just need to... back up here, start the pin, but you have to kind of hold your bushing in there, hold the bushing in as you feed the pin through, Push that in a little bit so it's not sticking out at all. Oops. Okay. And then I just need to uh, reinstall the set screw here. Make sure that's good and tight. Okay, so there you go, you got the, the nice new black knee pads on, got the nice uh, grip tape on either side. Feels good, I'll, I'll take it out for a test drive in a little bit. And I think the final thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually remove this beat up, shitty looking padding. Since um, I'm sure I'll still fall once in a while, but not nearly as much, so I'm going to try to take this off and... Um, Use some goo on to get the residue off, and uh, I'll just come back quickly so you can get a look at that. Taking off this um, padding is just another exercise in uh, patience. I'm just kind of using my uh, finger and fingernail to get underneath it, and then if you're lucky, it comes off in a solid piece. This is the, the tape that you put underneath it. So. Just going to be doing a lot more of this. Take some time. Okay, one side done. One more to go. Alright, I got it. The majority of the uh, stuff off, I'm just using some um, Goo Gone to finish up the job. It doesn't look bad, right? Almost looks like a like a nine bot P kind of, I guess. I have to tell you, I never thought when I first started that I would get to a point where I thought that I would be pretty solid enough to take the uh, the pads off. Alright, so there you go. My slightly upgraded 9 by e Plus. Minus the pads with new grip tape. New leg pads, and um, before it gets too dark, I'll take it out and just see how it all feels. And we'll give a slight report, but yeah. That's it, those are my upgrades. Probably the first and last upgrades I'll be doing to this box, but looks good. So, I'll be back. Alright, I'm outside doing my first uh, test ride with my slightly renovated 9bot E plus, 9bot 1 E plus, new leg pads, grip tape on the um, on the pedals, and I removed the padding on the outside so it at least looks a little bit better. So let's see if it feels any different. Okay. Grip tape does feel grippier for sure. Kind of feels nice having a flat surface as opposed to the 
slightly ridged surface that you have with the rubber the rubber grips so it's not bad feet don't feel quite right yet though not lined up yeah with that grip tape it's it's hard to adjust if you don't get your feet right but it's it's tough to adjust definitely have to grab a pole Feel, my feet do feel pretty uh, locked in there, so I guess that's good. Just going to quickly go to the end here. I remember when I first made it to the end and back without crashing, it was a major, major deal. can't say I really feel a difference with the leg pads because um, typically my legs aren't against the pads anyway, so... They look nice though. Okay, the first time I got here, or the first time I did this, making this left turn was extremely scary. Not so scary now. I think the bot definitely looks better without the uh, beat up nasty green foam on there. Yeah, my feet really feel locked into the bot for sure. I'm curious if it'll, it'll help with any of the wobbling and like scrubbing that I get with this. Um, just because the, the connection is so tight to my feet now. more mileage on it tomorrow to see for sure <clears throat> but yeah that feels pretty good I would call all of those upgrades successful as of now so that's it thanks for watching until next time definitely now